Hey, Matt here, and this is my 2017 StarCraft RV. Now, I've lived in this RV for a couple of years now, and uh, it's had some wear and tear. Just during last uh, cold snap, the hot water tank popped, so that's a pretty big setback. And um, need some electrical work and some sealing on the bottom done. So I contacted a uh, local RV repair shop, and it's just a local guy that owns it. So. He's going to help me out, and we're also going to do a vinyl wrap on the RV. Now you can see here that I've been peeling off some of the stickers that came on it, and uh, the paint, or whatever kind of finishing this is, has taken a lot of sun damage from the UV. So I'm going to finish peeling the stickers off here, and uh, tomorrow I'm taking it in, and we're going to repair all of the damage, and we're going to vinyl wrap the whole exterior of this RV. Okay, so, let me zoom out a little here. This is the one side after I peeled off all the stickers. back and the side with no stickers ready for a wrap yeah look at all that goat line that's crazy my little honda four-wheeler what are you okay so i don't know what i'm gonna do with this yet it literally sucks to peel those stickers so i think i'm just gonna wrap over them no matter how annoying it may look after. And then I'm gonna leave those. Yeah, we're basically done with peeling all the stickers. All right, well, it's a new day. It's snowing a little bit out here. And uh, I just got hooked up, as you can see. And I'm just about to take her in to the RV place. Here is the cracked hot water heater. So you can see right down the weld when it froze, the water inside expanded and it split that open. Now, I wanted to replace it um, with the same water heater at first, but uh, Derek here told me that I could replace it with a hot water on demand system for a similar price. And then I have unlimited hot water. So we decided to go with that.
The RV repairs took longer than expected, so we weren't able to finish the wrap while it was in the shop. Unfortunately, it rained for the following week as well. All right, so it's been a couple weeks since I was in the RV shop. Um, it's just been raining here because it's springtime in Southern British Columbia. Um, so yeah, uh, every chance I got when the rain wasn't pouring, I would work on the front of this a little bit. Uh, you can tell it's far from perfect. There's some pretty nasty wrinkles um, in these depressions. I mean, they were pretty challenging. I'm just gonna leave it how it is. Um, also, that sticker I wrapped over up there, you can still see the outline of it, but honestly, that doesn't bug me too much. Um, what I'm working on now is getting this side. I'm doing this alone. So the system I've devised is I just kind of tape it to the front and pull it out. I have the roll resting on this lawn chair right now. Um, I guess the idea will be to get that top edge like taped up kind of in place. And then I will carry the roll to the next lawn chair, get the whole top edge taped, and then I'll be able to come along and pull the liner off the back of this and get it on there and squeegee it out. I don't know how well it's gonna work because, I mean, you probably should have two or more people to do this, but I don't, so I'm gonna try it this way. All right, I'll, uh, I'll get at it. Well, it's the next day, and uh, as the sun was setting last night, or not as the sun was setting, but as it was actually getting dark, I uh, finished up wrapping my RV here. So, yeah, it came just to the nick of time. I uh, have to leave for work this morning, and I'm going to be gone for a month probably, and then I'm going to be uh, living in this RV again, but I think it turned out pretty good. I really like how that uh, Nardo Dark Grey looks. 
Yeah, it's awesome. All right, well, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.